Good evening, everyone. Eight people have now died en route to the annual motorcycle rally in Sturgis, South Dakota, including a North Dakota woman. 63-year-old Rose Ann Richard from Belfield was thrown from her cycle on Interstate 90 and died Monday from her injuries. A million bikers are expected in Sturgis. That's the largest gathering in the 75 years of the rally. One thing you may not have seen with all of those riders heading to Sturgis, helmets. WDAY6 reporter Amy Unruh joins us live tonight and breaks down why motorcycle safety laws don't necessarily correlate with car safety laws. Amy? Dana, it seems pretty similar. A seatbelt for a car and a helmet for a motorcycle, but most state laws say otherwise. That sound, well, I don't own a car, is sweeter than any tune to Steve and Marge Honadal's ears. You're someplace where you're out away from all the distractions and all the things that you have to do. And like many, it's safety first with gear and a helmet. Just don't tell Steve it's required. They're hot, they're heavy. Uh, sometimes you know, a lot of people have trouble with their neck. As a bait of North Dakota instructors, they believe more in making sure riders are trained rather than helmet laws. In North Dakota and Minnesota, you only need to wear one if you're under 18, leaving many wondering why that's so if everyone in a car has to wear a seatbelt. When your head hits the pavement, the pavement's going to win. Cass County Sheriff Paul Laney, who himself prefers two wheels over four, just got back from helping law enforcement out in Sturgis. I saw plenty of people not wearing helmets. He says personally, he always wears one, and that state laws don't always make sense. You have to, I guess, ask the legislature why they make the decisions they do. Why are our speeding tickets in this state a joke? You know, why uh, do we have a lot of things that we do? So I think it's a bigger question than just seat belts and helmet laws. <laughs> No matter how you view it, and no matter the law, for many, it's more about driving away, feeling free, and feeling safe. Right now, 19 states have helmet laws, and it used to be more until the 1970s. Back then, the DOT could impose fines for states not having laws. Reporting live, Amy Unruh, WDAY 6 News.